It's time once again for your digital highlight from Gregory Gym. University of Texas, 16 and three, number eight in the country, taking on Baylor. And this is a matchup that has been absolutely dominated, Kelly Tennant, by the Longhorns, and they were good early. They were good early. They were able to get some good passing. Baylor didn't start out putting a lot of pressure on Texas, and they were really able to use Shadair McNeil on that right side. She really had an open net for a large portion of this night. And Allison making some very good choices, so after winning the opening set 25-18, Baylor had some other ideas. Now, they couldn't come up with a way to stop Haley Eckerman, but they got enough done, and they really surprised the Texas Longhorns taking the second set 25-20. There was a lot of long rallies in that second set, and Baylor was just much better at finishing and executing, and they really exposed Texas in the back row, finding shots in those corners, and Texas struggled with that. This was the first time that Baylor had won a set in Gregory Gym since October 6, 2006. That was a long time ago. Moving on to the third set, so the coaches had a chance to talk to their teams. I wonder what Jared Elliott had to say because the Longhorns came out on fire. They came out on fire, they passed much better, they were much tighter with their game, they lessened those errors that they were really struggling with, and those kinds of plays out of the back row from Haley Eckerman were huge. She really established herself in that third set. Haley Eckerman finished with 18 kills, Bailey Webster had 13, Cat Bell with nine. So Texas then convincingly took the two sets to one lead, the fourth set, Give the Baylor Bears a lot of credit. They came in at three and five in conference, but they'd won three out of their last four. And again, Eckerman almost impossible to stop. But Baylor had a lead until late into this set, thanks to the fine work from number three, Zoe Adam. Zoe Adam was so good with the way she was mixing it up tonight, finding line, finding cross court. And then Texas brings in Madeline Hudson to block and hit on that right side. And she was so strong, Texas keeping the ball alive. Outside to Haley Eckerman. It's a long rally. We saw a lot of these tonight. Baylor keeping the ball in play. And then Hannah Allison to Cat Bell. It's coming. Trust this. It's the digital know. highlight. Here it comes. There it is. Match point. And it's down. <laughs> Madeline Hudson off the bench, off the block, and another Texas win.